and today I am traveling on one of Romania's slow and notoriously unreliable trains. The journey takes us from Brasov to the town of Sigishwara in Transylvania. On these provincial routes, not much has changed since communism. The adventure begins in Brasov, Romania. We are now walking toward the main train station here in Brasov. And as I've shown in my last video, the center is very pretty and very medieval. But then once you get to the outskirts, you have all the communist apartment blocks over there. And yeah, the train station should be around there somewhere. So I booked my ticket online and there are actually several options to go from Brasov to Sigishwara. But I booked the slowest possible option because the faster options are operated by newer trains. And I want to be certain that my train will be a retro train. But yeah, this is Brasov beyond the tourist zone. This location is about three kilometers from the main medieval core. And you can see that it looks very different. Now, can we cross without getting run over? I think we can. And over there, we have the main train station of Brasov. What a beauty. This building was actually completed in 1962. So it's from communist times. What a beautiful train station. You got all the paintings there of the different castles around Transylvania and then the town of Brasov. Wow. So those are the trains that I wanted to avoid because I want to ride one of these beautiful retro trains here. I'm not sure if that's mine, but I'll go have a look. Wow, look at this locomotive. I'm pretty sure this has been running for at least 40 or 50 years. And yeah, I think that this is actually not my train because here it says Yashi, which is not where I'm going. And yeah, I got myself a bottle of water inside the train station because here at the platform, everything is closed on a Monday. So you won't get any Coca-Cola here. So apparently this is my train here. Let's go check it out. Wow, we have some compartments here and also some free seating. Let's see. Happy days, I found some space here in the older carriage. Would you look at that? Now we got ourselves a proper retro train journey here. You got a man talking on the phone, a baby crying in the background, and then these beautiful communist seats. So there are actually compartments over there behind those seats which are closed, but then this part right here has a little separation, but it's not a real compartment. This is from the 80s or 70s maybe, but then you got a proper wood table no air conditioning of course but i think you can open the window so you can't open the window maybe that's why it's so hot in here but yeah this window i'm really not sure why you can't open it because it's getting really hot in here There is some air coming out of here, but it's not really cold. It's more like lukewarm air. So yeah, it's not real air conditioning and the window doesn't open. So we are in May now. It isn't super hot outside, but in summer, this would be absolutely boiling. And yeah, this train stops probably 10 or 15 times in 100 kilometers. That's why I think it's one of the slowest trains I've ever taken. As you can see there, it's a train station but it's actually just a truck and over there a road junction. After half an hour, it became unbearably hot in the free seating area. So I went looking for a compartment with an open window. All right, I've been sitting in this semi-open carriage here and now I found a compartment that's free. And here we have the proper compartment and the window is open, happy days. We got another passenger here and yeah, this train hasn't been 
maintained in decades probably. I mean, I hope that the electrics are maintained. But this compartment here hasn't changed since the days of Ceausescu, I am pretty sure about that. Now this is undoubtedly one of the slowest trains I've ever been on. It takes 4 hours to do 100 kilometers and stops 15 times. There is no Wi-Fi or restaurant car and it is also pretty filthy. On the plus side, the seats are super comfortable and you get the full retro experience. This is called Chata or Kata. I don't know how to pronounce that. But anyways, the village is over there and then you got this little train station here. And look at the state of that building. I mean, that building hasn't seen any maintenance in many, many decades. And there are actually three seats for people waiting on the platform over there. But I'm pretty sure that that will be enough because there will never be more than three people waiting here. And right now there are zero. And also zero people who got off here. So I'm not sure why we are even stopping here. So the seats are exactly the same as in the other part of this carriage, but we got these doors that close and of course the curtains here. Oh, curtain is broken. Let's see, can I fix the Romanian train curtains here? I am absolutely useless at this kind of stuff. Yeah, they are broken. So yeah, curtains are broken, but we have windows that open. I just closed them because it was too loud, but yeah, we can open the windows, so no need for aircon. Funny story here, guys. I showed you the broken curtain over there, and yeah, the train attendant just came into my compartment and started shouting at me in Romanian. But then I tried to explain to him in a mix of French, Spanish and Italian that it wasn't me and that it was somebody else, and then he calmed down. He actually asked me whether some gypsies had broken it. So he knew the word gypsy in English and he said like gypsy, gypsy, and then he said giton. He also knew the word in French for some reason, because gypsy means giton in French. And yeah, I don't even know if that word is offensive here or not. But anyways, there are quite a few of those people, whatever they are called, here on this train. And yeah, he asked me if the curtain has been broken by gypsies. I don't know if that's supposed to be funny or offensive, but anyways, it's just what the train conductor said. So yeah, not my words. Now he's fixing it. What a lovely man. Right guys, we are almost in Sigishwara and yeah, this train journey was pretty exhausting. Mostly because this train is just so slow. I mean, it took us four hours, more than four hours actually, to cover 100 kilometers. As a comparison, it takes one hour and 45 minutes to do this journey by car. There are, however, reasons to choose this option. Number one, you love retro trains, and number two, you want to save money. I only paid five euros for this four hour train journey. That is pretty cheap. So this is Sigishwara, a very beautiful town in Transylvania apparently. And yeah, I'm gonna do a city tour here in Sigishwara, but that will be in a different video. For now, it's goodbye from here. And yeah, thanks very much for watching and see you in the next one.